do you ever feel like we get mind blocked for no reason? And does it piss you off as much as it pisses me off? Well, I think I have a solution for you. Hey guys, Philip here. So, I was looking at the video that uh, my friend Jason posted recently regarding uh, how he flipped his screen and was able to play also upside down with his mouse. And he mentioned that it's a good tool to get rid of mind block. So I thought it was a good idea to check it out myself, show you guys how you can do it. And I'm also gonna be including both mouse and tablet, but for tablet it's a bit easier. And uh, I am a mouse player myself, however I do have a tablet here, this is the CPL472. Uh, I bought it about two years ago thinking that I was gonna enjoy playing with a tablet, that I was gonna like transition over after playing like, I think it was three years of mouse play at that point. And I didn't really find it interesting, I really hated how you hold the pen and the pen slip and everything in the grip. So I just moved back to mouse. But uh, it's good when I'm making these types of videos because I can include both my mouse and my tablet and just show you guys what's going on here. So I'm gonna move on to my screen and uh, I'm just gonna show you the tool that I use to invert mouse movements and how you can do it with the tablet as well. So this is uh, Jason's channel as you can see. Uh, if you go down here, you can see his flipped monitor, big black, one miss lightly. And uh, let's just pause right away. Two important things. First, as you can see, his monitor is completely flipped. Uh, but his actual monitor is fine and also he's a mouse player which is uh, how I found out about the program that he's recommending and it's also here in the description uh, so you can watch this through a little bit as you can see he's doing pretty well and uh, if you go down in the comments you can even see Ponyta one of the uh, top mouse players <laughs> seeing the world without mind block so Basically, it's just a bunch of people saying, uh, well, first, crappy angle on the camera, whatever, but also, like, you have defeated your biggest enemy, the mind block. So, I'll just go through really quickly how to set this up, and uh, I'll show you everything here in a moment. Alright, so the first thing you do is just open this website here, which is gonna be down in the description. You download the latest, or rather, the only version ever. So just download that and you should have a zip file, when you do that it should just come as a photo like this. You don't need any installation, nothing whatsoever, you just need to press the EXE and it's just gonna work. Right now uh, it's inverting my movements, therefore it's a bit odd for me to uh, move stuff around, but as you can see, uh, if I press right click here and exit, I'm back to normal, everything's fine. So basically I'll just show you how it looks. And uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, so it looks like that didn't work, so I'm just showing it like this. Uh, I stayed before, open the sakasa.exe, go here into display settings, landscape, landscape flip. As you can see, now everything is fine, except you know, the screen is upside down, but I can still play, it's not an issue here. Uh, so as you can see, if I open OS, you see everything is as usual, uh, except everything is upside down. But I'm still able to move my mouse properly, it's just a deal of turning on off raw input. Here, there we go, and so when I have raw input, it still like does it upside down, messes with my uh, crosshair. As you can see I'm being able to move it. If I turn off raw input, everything is handy dandy, working fine. Uh, so as you can see, I'm able to uh, just browse as usual. It's gonna look a little bit weird, but that's fine. Not really a big deal. So let's just play a song and see how much this affects me. It's not gonna be the same song from the intro, uh, obviously, but I'll just show you that it works fine. So yeah, that's it. You just turn on this little handy program. You uh, set your display settings to uh, landscape flip, turn on also, turn off raw input, and you should be fine. I did not notice any noticeable input delay, any lag whatsoever, and the program is really small, it has around 32 kilobytes, so it's not gonna really affect your computer anyway. And uh, so that has been it for how you do it with the mouse, uh, time to show you how you do this with the tablet. Alright, so before I show you how to actually do this with the tablet, well, first we need to unbox the tablet so 
Let me actually just do that real quick. Turn this cover. If we open it up, the tablet is right here on the top. Pretty standard size tablet, around, uh, I'm not sure what the dimensions are, it should say on the box. Uh, so I'll put it somewhere on the video. As you can see right here we have the pen itself and the cable and the manual. Now, if uh, you need a manual that's great, but I don't already use this, so let's just move on. This is a pretty standard Wacom pen, uh, nothing really special, it's pretty light. No batteries, just wireless, and uh, all the buttons work and everything. Uh, you can remove the buttons, which is what I did a bit ago, but uh, I put it put them back because I didn't really have the intention of using it again, and uh, well, didn't want to lose the buttons. You also have the basic cable, which is unfortunately USB B, not USB C. Kind of sucks, but whatever. You're limited. And finally in the box, when you remove this cardboard thing, you have some extra accessories which include, let's see, three nibs, if, if we can get it to focus, hello, three nibs, nib remover, and this is some sort of rubber uh, for your grip. I don't remember if I was the one who put this in there or if it was them, but I feel that I wouldn't have packed it as good if, uh, if it was me. So basically that's it, I'm gonna set it up and I'll be back with you on the actual monitor. Alright, so we are back on the desktop, I got my tablet plugged in and ready, basically just installed its Windows drivers and uh, I just let it be. So the first thing that you need to do is download uh, the driver tablets, I personally like Hakus but if you go on the subreddit and let's just do that right now for you guys. If you go on the subreddit and here on the right side, you should see open source tablets, how cool, devil cool, open tablet driver. Just use whichever ones you prefer. I know that these worked for me before with this specific tablet, so that's why uh, you. That's why I'm using these ones. Uh, so if you go over here, uh, you should just get a zip file. You should unzip it, and basically it looks like this. Uh, so we need to first run these drivers, which I've already done. So uh, just choose if you have 64-bit windows, you just want to do the regular one. If you have 32-bit windows, you want to do this one. After you've done that, you can just open the driver again. And as you can see, it's connected to the Wacom CTL472. Now, I don't really use the tablet, so everything is set to its default. Didn't really touch anything. But basically, this is way more easier to deal with, uh, so I'm, I'm just like going around with my tablet right now. So you just need to go over here, select left handed inverted, so after you choose your area and you're comfortable, just go left handed inverted, save settings, and you don't even have to restart the drivers, it's already doing it, so right now I'm moving my, uh, my pen to the right, it's going to the left, yada yada yada. So if I do the same thing again, if I go into the window settings, display settings, uh, set it to flipped, it's gonna be just fine. And uh, I think I'm 99% sure that Doki, if you don't if you don't know him guys, he's a top player from the from Hong Kong. He's uh, using these settings not all the time, but he sometimes likes using them. Uh, specifically the inverted settings. I don't know his tablet area or anything. As I said, I don't use tablets. So basically. That's it. So this is uh, one of the ways that I know you know how to get rid of mind block on a specific map or just those in general. Might be something fun you want to muck around with, uh, just to have fun with. Uh, I personally don't really like it because I'm I'm just really confused when I open the game. Everything is upside down. I start the game and just, even though my movements are all the same because there isn't any delay, there isn't it just feels natural, it feels okay, but my brain just doesn't like it. So, personally, I don't like using these settings. If you guys like using them, feel free to use them. Uh, I don't I don't really like, care. So, yeah, that's basically it. You'll find both links for these programs in the description. And uh, that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys another time. See ya.